Okay, so hi, I'm Caitlin. And I'm Veda. So remember when life was easy? Simple. When we had no worries? Before we had loads of tests and homework? Well, let's get back to reality. We're in high school, and even as freshmen, we feel pressured and stressed. But this is just the beginning. For years to come, it'll only get worse. So how can we manage all this pressure and stress that's added into our lives? Well, it's simply impossible to get rid of stress completely. So why don't we learn how to handle it? For our 20-time project, we researched and tested the most commonly known methods to deal with stress to see if they had any changes and if they worked or not. So according to NBC News, 30% of teens reported feeling sad or depressed and 31% reported feeling overwhelmed due to stress. Our goal for this project is to not only help teens but also adults who are feeling overwhelmed. We first started off by researching some methods to cope with stress that we would test. Then we made a list of do's and don'ts when dealing with stress and helping people who are feeling overpowered by their workload. After we chose some methods that we thought what people would like would be interested in testing, we created a survey. So we put 11 different options on and then we posted the link on Facebook to try and encourage people to take it. After seeing, after seeing 55 responses, we looked at the results and we narrowed them down to the top five which were exercise, being organized, not procrastinating, writing everything down, and communicating. So initially we wanted to test all five methods, but due to the time we had, we, could, we had to compromise and only test three. We also, wanted to, we also wanted to have them test a method for one week, then have the following week off to see if they noticed any like, major changes but we also had to take this out of our plan because of our time restrictions. So instead of them having a week to reflect, they only had three days. So in the very end, on the last week, we had all three participants rate the methods on a scale of one to 10. So the average for exercise was 8.3, and not procrastinating was 7.7, was 7 .7, and, um, and being organized was a 5.6 yeah. out of 10. So an example for being organized was writing down your homework. So, okay. so, so of course through this process we had many challenges, but we also learned how to overcome uh, many of them. So of course we had time, and we th in the beginning we thought that we would have like more than enough time to carry out our experiment, but after um, procrastinating a little, we re we realized that um, we actually had to compromise our plan a lot, our plans a lot. And also, our outcomes weren't as accurate as we would expect because, first of all, we only had three participants, so it wouldn't be that accurate. And especially because some of the participants would take harder classes than the other ones, so the results would vary because of their, ske their different schedules. So we learned a lot also, both about ourselves and like some like skills. So personally, for me, I think I learned how to be a lot more pat patient and compromised because I kind of like like having everything like like as a plan, but then I realized that through our project we had to change a lot of things to try and find the perfect solution. And for me, I learned about communication because we had to meet outside of school, so to do that we would have to talk to each other and figure out our schedules and see when would be the best time. So looking forward, we aren't like a hundred percent sure what we actually want to do with our project. But we know for sure that um, I want, especially me, I want to try to apply some of the methods that we tested to my life. Like, like even exercising, I do it a lot, but I'm trying to like find it more enjoyable because sometimes I actually like get a little like overwhelmed through a competitive sport. So yeah. And so, although these baby steps might not seem as if they'll have a big impact, these little changes could actually make a big change. And it could lead to a healthier mind and a more enjoyable lifestyle. Thank you.